Alrighty, welcome everyone to another tutorial video. In the last tutorial, I showed you a little bit about what you could do with the player proxies, the game logic, and a few other things. So, let's go ahead and create a custom box. Let's say you walk into this box, you're going to get a skin. So let's go ahead and do that. So, we're going to create a blueprint. And I will start this all from the actor class. And I'm going to call this a skin volume you can call it whatever you want but basically what we're gonna do here is when a player walks into this it's going to give them a specific skin so this is gonna get a little complicated but if you are not too interested in some of the logic you could just go ahead and follow along what we're gonna do is first we're going to click this add button and we're gonna add a box collision and it's gonna create this big old box around here. I'm going to give it a line thickness of 2 just so that way it's easier to see in the in the editor. But basically what we want to do is when a player goes into this spot, this like space, we want them to change skins. So what we're going to do also is we're also going to add a static mesh. Actually we'll just add a cube. You can add a static mesh. I'm just going to add a cube. You can do whatever you want. That's just like a model. Uh, really useful for other things but I'm gonna add a cube and now I am going to quickly go make a material so let's do that really quick we're gonna go into our materials folder we're gonna create a material that we can see that's kind of transparent so I'm gonna call this just volume uh, transparent um, I'm gonna give this a constant whoops a constant three vector I'm gonna make the volume I think I'll do a little bit I'll just do white that's okay and if you don't know about how to make transparent stuff in Unreal Engine that's okay again just follow along uh, you're gonna click on this block here or you can click anywhere in the space and this uh, information should appear you're gonna go from blend mode opaque to translucent and we're gonna drag a node off of opacity we're gonna call it constant and just a constant one and we're gonna give it 0.5 we're gonna give it half transparency okay <clears throat> we're gonna save this okay now we're gonna go back to our skin volume we're gonna go to this little thing here we're gonna type in volume um, transparent is what I called it cool so now we can kinda of see through it you'll notice that the box is a little bigger than the actual collider so we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that um, oops. oh it's right it doesn't auto change so I'm just gonna make this 0.5 uh, I'm gonna make it 0.6 yeah 0.6 0.6 cool <clears throat> so now we have this little volume inside this box and the big thing that you really want to do before anything is you want to click on the cube option you want to go to the details type hidden and you want to make sure that hidden in game is not checked otherwise you won't see it and that'll be kinda of not great now what I will say is you want to make sure that the box the actual collider is hidden in game now I will quickly show you what that looks like um, so if I go back and I grab this skin volume so now we have like this little box here and we can see through it um, kind of ish <laughs> white may not have been the greatest color for that but you, know, you can see through that and if you ever want to see what it looks like to um, like what it will look like in game kind of you can always hit the play button up here <clears throat> and you'll notice that I can kind of not really see through this <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back into that material I'm probably gonna make the opacity a little bit less I'm gonna do probably 0.3 instead it's not as bad and I can kind of see through it so and let me just click off yeah I can kind of see through it. I can see kind of the map through it so that's good uh, tweak that to however you want of course I'm just gonna do it this way um, and now we're gonna go back to that because now we actually have to make it where when a player walks in they actually change skins otherwise it would suck so we're gonna go to the event graph okay and let's assume that we clear all this so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to 
right click on the box whoops we're gonna right click on the box add an event and we're going to do we're gonna do add on component begin overlap and we have a lot of options a lot of options we're gonna add that switch has authority we're gonna add that delay and now we have these options here so we need to grab the player or the pawn specifically that is inside this box so we're gonna go into the other actor we're gonna drag this out here a little bit and we're gonna type in cast to pawn basically what we're doing is when anything goes uh, into this box volume we're gonna have this other actor option and we want to specifically find a pawn in that so we're gonna cast a pawn and as a pawn we're gonna do get player proxy <clears throat> and from here we're gonna do set skin set player skin connect the execution and now we can select whatever skin we want again I'm gonna use the farmer because that's one of my favorites and now every time any player goes and walks into this volume their skin will be changed into a farmer and now we can go back to the game editor we can drag a, a box out if you haven't already and now we can tweak this so I'm gonna actually change the scale I want it to be a taller box okay and I wanna make sure that it goes into the ground so now we have this box here and whenever a player walks into it they're gonna turn into a farmer no matter what so what if we wanted to perhaps say create it where when a player walks into a volume they actually get a gun so let's do that we're actually gonna copy and paste this and then change it up a little bit because the logic is still pretty similar so I'm gonna call this gun volume so it's gonna be pretty similar in the sense that we want to check for a pawn kind of thing but the difference is is now we want to spawn a player in with a gun as a pawn what we're gonna to want to do is want to do get Pavlov player status by pawn okay we're gonna go ahead and do another break and now the important thing is is that the spawn item is something that we just can't find in this list because it's actually part of the game logic uh, blueprint so what does that mean well that means that we need to get the game logic so we're gonna do that we're gonna get game logic and then from there we're gonna drag out we're gonna call spawn item we're gonna connect this we're gonna break or we're gonna make some Pavlov spawn parameters and we're gonna connect player to player and now we're gonna have it when you walk into this volume you spawn with a knife in your hand what we have here is a gun box where and what we'll do to differentiate between these two is we're actually going to uh, create another transparent um, material now you don't have to do this uh, I'm gonna show you a pretty great way to create a bunch of colors without having to create a bunch of materials and what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click this option here this constant and you're gonna do convert to parameter I'm gonna call this color and I'm going to save so what did that do well that means that whenever we create an instance of this we're actually gonna be able to control that color so let me show you that so if we right click that uh, material and go to the way top we can create an instance and I'm gonna call this transparent I'm gonna call it red cuz I'm gonna make a red one so I'm gonna double click this <clears throat> and now you'll see we have a global vector parameter if we open that we can actually change the color of the volume to any color we want and we don't have to create another uh, instant or another um, material that's what's kinda nice about that I'm gonna save that and now what I'll do is under gun volume I'm gonna go to the cube 
and I'm gonna change this material to that material instance of red so now we can tell the difference between them so if I drag that out now I have a box that's red and that'll tell me as the player that this one will be for a gun and this one will be for a skin we can add text to it but that becomes a little more complicated as we have to go over replication as this is a multiplayer game and when it comes to replicating stuff we gotta make sure that everyone in the lobby can see that text change or or show up differently for everyone especially if you have text that changes uh, in your game you wanna make sure people can see that text as it changes but we'll go over that later so now we have a volume where if you walk in you spawn with a gun and a skin volume where if you walk in you change skins that's pretty cool but let's say that we don't want to have to create 50 skin volumes and 50 gun volumes to have um, different skins what we're gonna do is under this skin volume we'll use this for example let's say that whenever we spawn in one of these blueprints like say we have another one of these well both of these are just gonna spawn players as farmers so how do we fix that how do we make it so that way we can choose what they do well we're gonna open up that blueprint and we're going to edit this little piece here what we're gonna do and a very quick and easy way to do it is we're gonna drag this out and we're gonna select the promote to variable option and now we have this variable that we can control the most important thing is we want to tag this box called instance editable this will allow us to change every instance of this with a different value so let me show you what that means so check that box compile and save and now if we go here if we click one of these you'll notice that there's this option for a skin and now we can change this value so let's say that we want this one to spawn us as a farmer and this one we want to spawn as a clown. Well there we go. Now we can do that. Now this one's a clown and this one's a farmer. And we can do the same thing for the gun volume as well. Where instead of an ID we define here, we promote to a variable. We make it instance editable. We compile it. We save it. And now we have the option to change whatever we want these boxes to spawn us with so this one spawns us with a knife and let's say that this one spawns us with a let's say an M9 a pistol and again if you need to know where those uh, items come from there is that big list on the Pavlov wiki it will be your best friend it's really important to kind of use this as a resource especially if you want to have you know gun names and stuff so there we go now we've created a volume where we have a skin changer and a gun changer but we also made it so that every time we spawn a new volume we can control what goes inside that volume by a variable that we can type in so with that being said now we have some extra knowledge in the next video we're going to talk about a couple of really important things to do before you upload your mod.